Sixth grade, module four, lesson seven, problem set. Number one, replace the side length of this square with four inches and find the area. So I'm gonna draw a new square and each side is four inches. So to find the area of a square, we do the side squared. It's also called a square. So an area of four inches squared would be the same as four inches times four inches, which would be equal to 16 inches squared. Number two, complete the table for the following given, for each of the given figures. Okay, let's start with the first one. So we have 36 meters by 23 meters. So the length of the first one is 36 meters. The width is 23 meters. So rectangle's area would be 36 meters times 23 meters and written as a number. So let's do 36 times 23. Six times three is 18, carry the one. Three times three is nine, plus one is 10. Done with the three, don't need the one anymore, put our zero down. Two times six is 12, carry the one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. Add them together, we get 828 meters squared. And then the second one, the length is three and five tenths yards. The width or is 14 yards. So let's do three and five tenths times 14. Four times five is 20. Four times three is 12 plus two is 14. Done with the four, put our zero down. One times five is five, one times three is three. Add them together. Now we had one digit behind a decimal point, five. So I need to move the decimal point one place and we get 49 yards squared. And we write the, write the expression in here, times 14 yards. Okay. And number three, find the perimeter of each quadrilateral in problems one and two. So finding the perimeter of the first one. So remember the perimeter is the distance around the outside. So since this is a square, we have four and four and four. They're all four inches. So we just need to do four times four and it is 16 inches. That's the perimeter of that one. The next one on number two, so this is 36 meters, this is 23 meters. So then this side is also 23 meters and this length is 36 meters. So 23 and 23 is 46. And 36 plus 36, let's see, is 72. So we just need to add those together. 7 plus 4 is 11, so it would be 118 meters is the perimeter for that one. And let's do this last one. This is 3 and 5 tenths, so then this is also 3 and 5 tenths yards. This is 14 yards, so we need to do 14 times 2 and 3 and a half times 2 and then add them together. So 14 times two is 28. Three and a half, three times two is six. So a half times two is one. Add those together, we get seven. So 28 plus seven would be 35. So that's equal to 35 yards. And then the last one, number four, using the formula volume equals length times width times height, Find the volume of a right rectangular prism when the length is 45 centimeters, the width is 12, and the height is 10. So the volume would be equal to the length is 45 centimeters times the width is 12 centimeters times the height is 10 centimeters. 
let's do 45 times 12 because once I get that I can easily multiply it by 10 so 5 times 2 is 10 carry the 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 Put the 0 down 1 times 5 is 5 1 times 4 is 4 add it together we get 540 540 times 10 would be equal to 5,000 400 and we have centimeters there's three of them so centimeters cubed because we're talking about volume